Oh boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. Today, I'm trying to, or at least I'm going to attempt to document and, and show you the enormity of Ohio fish rescue. You guys know, uh, or if you don't, this is located in Strongsville, Ohio, where I came to speak at one of the local clubs, and I'm stopping by Rich's today and uh, having a peek at everything here. Um, I decided I was going to do one by myself, and then I'm going to get Rich and Josh to kind of walk us through here. I want to learn about the filtration system. I want to hear the numbers, all the fish that are here. But uh, for this first video, let me preface this entire video with something that nobody knows. Even Ohio Fish Rescue doesn't know that I filmed this video, that I made this video. I thought it was important to wake up bright and early the next morning, not to sneak around or do anything like that, but I just had, it was like 11 o'clock in the morning, so it wasn't that early. I woke up, I had coffee, and it just struck me, I should do a quick tour of the rescue. Rich knows about it, but he's like never seen the video. He doesn't know my thoughts. This is the first time he's seen it. And, uh, uh, but I thought I would do a tour by myself and see what, uh, what my opinion would have been and or show you guys from my perspective without having like the owners there like that type of pressure or whatever so i thought you guys might like this i still have a couple more videos from there with rich and he's going to do it from his perspective and give us a tour and it's really entertaining and then of course josh is going to walk us through how this place runs uh, in, in a future video but i thought i'd share that part just because i think you guys would enjoy knowing that or at least whenever this video comes out i just need you guys Look at that. I just want you guys to see this with me. This is absolutely insane. This used to be a pool and they converted it to a pond. It's incredible to see a lot of these fish in person at their, so at their, at their adult size. Look at the alligator gar and the arapaima. It's just absolutely insane. Oh wow. Oh and look, it's filled with African cichlids. I've seen videos and I always thought these guys were goldfish. That is African cichlids though. Isn't that insane? Got some silver arowana swimming by here. Look, I'm, I'm just gonna put the camera down for a quick second. You guys gotta see it with like a human. This is, this is ridiculous. I can't believe it. One of the things that I thought uh, immediately when I first came here um, is I cannot imagine the expense to run something like this um, and what they do essentially and I'll have Rich eventually explain it to you guys is they'll take these big fish in that are too big for the common aquarist and they'll house them here and give them a forever life and or find a new home for them at public aquariums and whatnot this is just absolutely incredible what else do we got here? I'm gonna to try to get a look at most of the tanks or at least the tanks that interest us uh, the most. Oh, wow. More silver air ones, that is insane. Check out all the plants. I'm also going to say that I didn't know my microphone was broken. Uh, every video I filmed that day is clipping and um, I didn't know until the next day. I was kind of like trying to go through the footage on my camera and you like put the camera up to your ear and trying to hear it and I'm like, oh no something's wrong with the audio. The next day I was kind of able to fix it, but the footage and the stories and everything that I filmed there was too good not to use it uh, and not to show you. It's tolerable, but it's not great. And I know it and I'm sorry, that microphone's not gonna get used anymore. And I'm really mad. I got five years out of it, whatever. It seems to me like this could be a natural filtration system. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely do an entirely separate video just documenting um the filtration itself mind you this is not the only area we have to go through another door to get to all the other tanks which are even bigger with even more fish but right now i just kind of want to show you so i came in through that door look at this tank man i would love to have this i just don't have i have no clue what it what, what's going on with it it's clearly acrylic look at this tree in it isn't that beautiful but these blocks man they gotta go I was telling them last night, just take a hammer and bop them off. They should be okay, but I don't know what this is. Maybe it was like a separator of some sort. I'm, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, well, I'm going to take you guys over to see. Um, some. Look at this sturgeon. They got some Motoro rays. 
Well, that's a Motoro. This looks like a, a crossbreed of some sort. This is a Motoro as well. It's very fascinating to see these fish as adults in person uh, because clearly it's not something you get to see every day. You know, a lot of times we get smaller fish um, and you don't really see these monsters, but I, I would say my rays are a little bit bigger than this one, but that just goes to show how I used to keep Motoros and breed them, but boy, they just get uglier <laughs> as they age. She knows I'm talking about her. Just absolutely gorgeous. I would love sturgeon for my pond. Look how bad. These guys are just gorgeous. Look at its, look at its dorsal, the top of it. Just razor blades. Isn't that incredible? Now the sturgeon is actually an American fish, I believe, and you can still find them in the wild, but this of course is a, you know, a, a, a variant or at least a, a color mutation, but just gorgeous, isn't it? Just stunning. All right, let's move on. <laughs> There's so much to look at, and we didn't we didn't even come. This this just this area is bigger than the gallery. I would say the pond is as big as my gallery. I would I would definitely estimate. Look at the giant gourami. Man, we got to get in here. Tiger shovel nose. Wow. Look at the red tails. Look how big they get. That is enormous. Good thing I got a 2,000 gallon aquarium because he's gonna need it. Wow, just beautiful. One of the things that I also noticed, and we're going to talk about that as well, is just how well fed everybody is. When we go into like the main fish room, which is right in there. Oh, look at the rays you can go. Oh, what? Anyways, no, that's not right. That's, that's a lungfish. What is that? Can you guys see through that door? Maybe if I move my damn hand. But when we go in there, you guys are going to see just how well fed these fish are. And I, and I was talking to Josh last night. I was like, man, the food bill here must be just absolutely insane. And maybe I can get them to disclose some things. I do know their power bill a month is well over $1,000. I just could not believe that. But isn't this a cool tank? And it's just goldfish, fancy goldfish. But boy, are these beautiful. Look at this long fin koi. Absolutely gorgeous. There's something in here for everybody. And then this Frontosa tank. Oh, they just kind of scattered out of the way. But uh, it looks like we have some Burundi and some uh, Blue Zaires. Ooh, there's a Zaire in the back poking his head up. So they're going to be much bluer in coloration, um, but much more expensive. And then the Burundis is typically what you'll have in your in your home aquarium. And they they much more drab coloration, but to be honest with you, I like them a little bit better because when you get into the Burundis and whatnot, uh, the, the, the black is cr crisp, but then the rest of them is kind of dark and almost blended. So I kind of like, uh, you know, the cheaper version. So if you ever want to get into Frontosa, don't be scared to just get into uh, the, the regular, you know, the most common type. It kind of depends on what you're looking for and what you want to get, though. Now, oh, you, this guy's too small, and I guess he's being out-competed with the bigger uh, bass in here. So they, they're leaving this net in here to kind of get him used to the net being in there. I tried to catch him a couple times, but he darts behind the rock. Anyways, this little guy's just too small. He's being out-competed for food, apparently. Uh, and they kind of want to move him somewhere else where... Oh, my! Look at this! There's tank upon tank that are just... What is that? One and a half inch thick? There's a lot of tanks here that are just empty. I don't know how he lives with himself with this just sitting here. Oh, I know. I do it too, I guess. Yeah. Wow, supplies everywhere. Okay, I got to bring you guys to the main fish room, and I think you guys are going to be blown away. Uh, I know I am, um, and I was, but, I, oh, and I believe, yeah, it is naturally lit in here. So these are these sunlights. Uh, I remember being in here last night, and I couldn't see much, but these are not lights. They're like domes, plastic domes, and this is natural sunlight lighting the pool. Isn't that, an, isn't that cool? Oh, I see they got uh, kind of blocking that sun because maybe it comes down and there's too much. Interesting. All right. You guys ready to be blown away? I hope I can document, you know, the, the, the sheer size and layout of here. So remember, I came in through here. His front door is over there somewhere. Um, come through here. Um, and this is just one area. <laughs> This is what I know them for. But then this area, wait for it. So I was talking to them last night. He said this was the first plywood tank they built. Um, and it's done pretty well. But this is a big tank as well. It's a big fish. Now wait for it. This is going to be ridiculous. Look at the size of these Paku. 
That is the size of a small child. But one in the back's even bigger. Man, if you're looking to get a Paku, don't. They just get too, too big. Oh, they're all Paku in here. Look, they're just like little water pigs. But again, look how fat and healthy they are. Look at this guy's big belly on him. What are you doing? You seem friendly. Wow, just, just crazy. And look, if we zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see the Paku's teeth. Maybe in somebody else's mouth. Yeah, these guys are just huge. Tank busters. Look at the size of them. I don't even know if that gives a good comparison, but watch this. Oh, don't bite me. They have a bite force that can snap my finger for sure. Wow, okay. Ooh, Rays. Ooh, look at this. Absolutely insane. Okay, let's start over here first. Also, another Arapaima. Isn't he cute at this size? So he's probably about two feet, but man, do they ever get into monsters? Oh, we have some pearl. We have a Leo. We have some black diamonds. Uh, this would be a hybrid, it looks like. Another black diamond, or at least a hybrid of a sort. And there's a, this is an albino pearl. I've never been into the albinos, but uh, he's still beautiful. I, I love all rays, but looks like this is... A sorority. I don't see a male. That's a male. Any more males? This one little one. I can't really see. And what I'm looking for is their claspers, which is located under their tails. And you'd be able to easily see it. Um, their fins are modified. And if they have these claspers, well, I've taught you guys this before. If they have those claspers, it's a male. So you can identify um, the sex of a, a, a stingray from birth. And they give, they give birth to live pups. You guys know this by now. We've been doing this for a long time. All right. This tank here. Oh, he's got a pig-nosed turtle. I used to have a pig-nosed turtle. Uh, and it's just, it's very different to see an adult. That thing is the size of a couple footballs. Yeah, just, whoa. Man, this is like a, this is like getting to walk around a public aquarium all by yourself. Um, yeah, tinfoil barbs. This is crazy. The clown knife. That's not a very big clown knife. You'll see it this size typically in, in uh, they'll get to that size in home aquariums, but I bet you they have even bigger ones here somewhere. Check out this tank. We got the Bicher. So I got the same species of Bicher at home in my 2000, but this one's bigger. Nice eel hanging down in the, in the uh, wood here. Oh, some Spilla, VA, huh? Wow, more Rami, more Hawana. Look at the, uh, oh, aren't you great? Aren't you beautiful? Look at his little dots of an eye. Absolutely insane, some spotted gar. Wow. Ooh, he even has some discus here. How you filming this? Here is another pig nosed turtle. This guy is an also a really big, big guy. So these are um, fully aquatic. Uh, one of the only, I believe it's the only uh, fully aquatic freshwater turtle in the world, uh, soft shell. And uh, these guys are incredibly friendly. Um, you can say they're a herbivore, but do the best on a, uh, you know, a bit of an omnivore type diet. Uh, the, obviously, you could tell uh, why they are called the pig nosed turtle. That's just their common name. Another common name is the Fly River Turtle, and that's where they're from uh, originally. But let's put this into perspective for you guys. What's up, big fella? Um, I don't even know if he'll be able to let me touch him or not. Look how big he is. Oh, just feels like a wet basketball. <laughs> Yeah, oh, another absolutely enormous datnoid. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, and who are you? Hello. Hello. You must love it in here. What, what did he say? What did you say? You call me a nimwit? I think he did. Yeah. Oh, look at this cute little fella. Tiny little stingray. 
Oh wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another sturgeon albino. Oh, it's an electric eel. No thank you. What size is that? That's gotta be what, four feet, three and a half feet long? This tank looks to be eight feet. Yeah, that's an eight foot long tank. Yeah, look at the enormity of this guy. Let's see if we can get a good shot at him. How does he even see me with those eyes? Oh, that's incredible. Look at this pirate ship. It's like a sea monster. Man, I'd like to have one of them, but I wouldn't want to uh, get shocked by one. Just insane. What else we got here? Oh man, every time I turn around there's a new uh, new massive tank. Look at this tank of rays. This is a huge aquarium. It's, it's almost up to my chest. What a tall tank. Wow. More rays. Big, big rays. Wow. What are you doing, big mama? You pregnant? So that's the size of my rays at home, this one. The size of this one is the size of my female. She looks to be, I, I would say these squares, the tiles, are uh, about a foot in width, so probably about 18, 20 inches wide, something like that. Oh, and then this. Look, it just keeps going. Look at you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Wow. Just so insane. Man. I do not. I don't. I wouldn't want. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to take care of all this. I could just imagine the monthly bills and just the overall cost of water changes and wow and feedings and um, electric uh, electric bill. I have the gallery and it's not at full capacity right now, but it's still relatively expensive. Look at this. This is the closest you'll ever get to an Asian arowana in the United States, and that is a Jardini. They look very similar, don't they? Just lack the coloration uh, for the most part, but almost everything else kind of matches. They don't have as flowy as fins. Um, and they're nasty. It's my least favorite arowana, but they look the closest to a uh, silver. Or I'm sorry, a uh, Asian arowana, which is what I have. Ooh, long fin Oscar. Never been a fan of long fin varieties. Let's see what else here. Wow, look at the length of this tank. Oh my, that's gotta be, what, what is this, like 30 feet? Oh, it's two tanks though. Some coral inserts, look at the several. Beautiful, that's an adult male, just stunning. Huge bala sharks, another gorami. Oh, a lot of bala sharks, look at them all coming over. But these guys are all big, he's about a foot long, easy. An archer, is he the lone archer? No, there's a couple in there. Oh, aren't these guys beautiful? Lots of varieties of silver dollars. Believe it or not, this is a silver dollar variety. Um, you typically would be used to like red hooks or, you know, just the, the common silver dollar, like maybe one of those guys back there. Where are you? Like one of them, but there, there are, he's stunning. That is insane. But he's also big. Look at his finish. Just gorgeous. Oh, and his, his dorsal's supposed to look like that. I thought maybe there's some tearing, but look at this one's got it too. Isn't that insane? Very nice. Look at this chunky monkey. So you guys know what that is. It's just a common um, convict. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous fish I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> That's Little Rich. <laughs> He's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, man. Anybody that's a fan of uh, Ohio Fish Rescue on their channel, just uh, let, let Rich know that's Little Rich. <laughs> Look how ridiculous he looks. Oh, man, that's a funny-looking uh, convict. Yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh, wow. What do we got here? Uh-oh. I know what you are. That's a gulper cat. So these guys can eat the size of themselves, basically. Essentially why they're called the gulper cat. Wow. And I'm talking they could gulp down a fish the same size of them. you got to be very careful. Here's a clown knife. What are you doing in? Oh, another little pig nose turtle. They have a few of them here, it appears. Oh, beautiful African cichlid tank. Wow. This is mostly Malawi. 
Although the Pelini is uh, Madagascar, I believe. Wow. That is a lot of fish, isn't it? Look at them chasing me around. Oh, that's cool. Watch this. Let's see if we can't get them to chase us around here. I would do this all day. I'm over here, guys. Guys. Here they come. <laughs> they must think I dropped something over there. Oh, because of the food. Stop calling me a nimwit. Or are you saying Joey? I think he's trying to fight me. Okay, I'll come over nicely. You seem like a very nice young man. I don't think birds like me. And I'm okay with that. He's, he looks like he's a little shy. Do you, would you like to come on my hand? Would you? Are you a nice bird? You seem as though you might bite me. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna pass on that one. Oh, another knife? Oh, is that an Abba Abba? That's an Abba Abba. I only see, I think, it's, yeah. I only see the tail end of them. Wow. Oh, look at these cute little fellas. Another airplane. That's a baby. So they go from this, being this cute little fella to those absolute six foot long monsters. Okay. Now I know Rich has a few more tanks in his house, uh, but I think I'll end it there. Just give you guys a quick little tour from my perspective. I want to do a tour with Rich and Josh. I also want to do a tour of, uh, I want to talk about the filtration and how everything's run. I want to talk about the electricity, the power, how this really comes to be. Uh, because this is, this is crazy. Like how does somebody get to this point? This is an absolutely incredibly insane. And it's warm too. Oh, and if you're wondering, no, it doesn't stink or anything. It doesn't smell like a fish room or it doesn't, you know, and typically if you're feeding a lot of uh, pellets and whatnot, you would have that bit of a smell, but it's not. This room's really nice. Oh, look at this. Temperature of it's 82.7. You can like jump right in there. I don't think I will though. They kept telling me they want me to get in, but I just don't think I will. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end it there and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and like uh, a little tour from my perspective. I know a lot of, I saved a lot of talking about things for when uh, I'll let Rich do it. Um, but, oh, is that a disco ball? <laughs> Love it. But uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this tour. Um, absolutely insane. Or as I should say, it's absolutely phenomenal. But I got to say, I like... I like it here. I would not want to take care of this. This is, uh, no wonder they have so many volunteers and people helping and working for them. I guess I never understood or grasped the, uh, the enormity of this operation. It's just, and it's in his house. Just insane. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in a new one shortly.